Hello everybody, I'm here with Griffin and Henrietta, who is a brown laying hen. Now Henrietta had a pretty tragic night last night and Griffin's going to fill you in with the details. So hi guys, my name is Griffin. Um, I, um, uh, my dad and my mom and my sister, they, um, they did, um, they, um, they heard the screaming noise, um, last night. Um, and then they came out, um, to check on the chickens. And when they gone out to, when they gone out to the coop, right in the cage was a raccoon. In the chicken coop. Yep. Right and it was coop. trying to pull the head off of poor Henrietta here. Yeah. And it has got two of our chickens before in the past. So what's going to happen now, buddy? Trap them with the raccoon trap. Look at that. Ooh. Hold right, on. We'll so this it. is our raccoon trap. It is. <laughs> it is. A 42 inch by 15, and the thing is massive. It's a massive, wow. massive raccoon trap. So that uh, once it gets in there, the other ones that oh, we had. Oh, which get out? Well, the other ones that we had, the raccoon. This raccoon so big, it was able to lift up the small traps and reach in and get the uh, tuna that we had in there and foiled us but not this time and we also picked up some flashlights because we were running around here last night like a circus act trying with our cell phones trying to see Rocky as he was climbing up the tree so I think we got it covered we're gonna set this bad boy up and uh, see if we can catch ourselves a raccoon rolling the first step in effective raccoon traffic is chunk light tuna, okay? So this is irresistible to la raccoon. And we're gonna, we're actually gonna put it out here. We're gonna tie it to the end of the cage so the little buggers can't reach in and grab it out, which they've foiled us before in the past. All right. And then we're gonna leave it out for them. So it walks, snow walks up into the trees. So that Rocky has to crawl down from the All right. So we're gonna push this to the back. But make sure you don't. There we go. I'll just hold this one. Oh, my patio table. Here, <laughs> To the back here. Raccoon I want that raccoon trap. Oh, look who's coming! Can you can smell the tuna? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're tying this in the back so that Rocky doesn't rob us. Okay. Now can we test it? Yes, we can. We're going to use Mr. Moose here instead of a raccoon. What's that, Mr. Moose? Chickens taste good. Not tonight. <laughs> Mr. Are Moose. Are you for real? Rocky goes into the trap. Smell that succulent tuna. <laughs> What is happening right now? Get a little closer. Oh, look at that irresistible tuna. Oh. Mother <laughs> trucker. Here we go. What are you doing in there? Griffer, we had to switch up tactics here because yeah. we used the tuna and what'd we catch? Yeah, what'd we catch though? We caught a cat. Whose cat? My cat. What's your cat's name? Ziggy. What does he like to eat? Yeah, so now we got uh, corn in there because the raccoons kicked the crap out of Lori's bird feeders, even her hummingbird feeders too. So uh, now we've switched up and we have planted corn in there. Hopefully, what do you think, Griff? You think we're going to catch them? Don't know. Well, we'll know tomorrow morning, won't we, buddy? Yeah. Right, good morning, right. Griff. It's six o'clock in the morning. Why don't you tell me what's going on? So hi guys. Um, look what we caught. Oh, so there's the chicken killer. 
Good morning, Mr. Chicken Killer. We're going to go for a drive where you're not going to be able to kill any more of our chickens and you're going to go make some new friends out in the forest. Don't pop your head. Oh my God, he's just... He's not happy. All right, let's not stress him out. Look at him! Oh, yeah. He's like shy! Settle down. He's like shy. I love the raccoon's like um tail for some reason. <laughs> 